Today, day one of the challenge, our focus is going to be on creating a productive home office space. So most of us are now working from home and trying to make that adjustment. And even if you're not working from home, it might still be nice to set up a space in your house where you can just have a quiet space that's dedicated to whatever it is you need to work on. Could be arts and crafts, could be a painting, could be just a place to sit down and pay bills. Something that's going to keep you feeling organized. So the first step is to find a location for your office. If you don't already have a home office set up, you're going to have to look around and get a little bit creative. So working from the couch, not a great solution. Working from your bed, not a great solution. You want to have a desk or a table to be working on. And if you don't already have one in your house and maybe your dining room table has already been taken over by someone else or you just need it to be your dining room table, um, think about other tables in your house. So do you have uh, card tables in the basement or folding tables that maybe you bring up on holidays? Could you bring one of those up and use that as a desk? Um, if not, do you have a coffee table you're not using that you could raise up on some books? Books are going to be your friend in this just to get everything at the right height. Um, so look around, get creative, and find a table that you can work on or a work surface. And then gather your supplies. So make sure you've got everything on your desk that you need to be productive because every trip you make outside of your office to the kitchen or to another space in your home to grab a pen or a piece of paper, you're going to come up with all these little distractions. You're going to see what, what's in the fridge. Can I have a snack? Let me wash the dishes. Let me put a little laundry in. Um, so it's better if you can just stay at your desk and get focused. So make sure you set yourself up for success with pens, paper, your earbuds, your phone charger, everything that you need to have a productive work day. Think about what your desk at the office looks like and try to replicate that in your house. And then you want to set yourself up for ergonomic success. And I know that's going to be a little bit challenging because this is a temporary workstation. So we're probably not going out and buying monitor arms and ergonomic chairs and all this other stuff to make it a perfect space, but we're going to do the best we can with what we have. So ideally, you'd like to have a separate monitor where you can change the height and adjust the height and a separate keyboard, again, so you can move that so that your arms and hands are at the right height and angles and then a separate mouse. If you don't have those items that are separate that you can adjust the height on and you're working on a laptop, then try to get that laptop height up a little bit higher. You can stack it on um, some books or you could stack it on a box or two if you want to make a standing desk for yourself and I'll share some images in the next couple of slides with you to show you what those might look like. But ideally when you're setting up for ergonomic success you want to make sure that your monitor is at eye level, you want to make sure that your shoulders are relaxed, you want to make sure that your arms are parallel to the floor, and you want to make sure that your thighs are parallel to the floor when you're sitting down and that your feet are on the floor. And that's a tough one for me. I always try to sit cross-legged and things. But as you can see, if I sit cross-legged, that changes the posture. And if you're sitting like this all day, that's really going to be quite a strain on your back. So do your best with setting yourself up for success. And I'm going to share some slides with you guys and some images that will help you get the best ergonomic layout for your desk and give you also a helpful list of supplies you should have at your desk. And definitely, if you've got questions about your specific layout or how you should set yourself up, feel free to send a message or shoot me an email um, and I'll be happy to answer specific questions about your setup.